Since Rod Brindamore took over as the head coach for the Carolina Hurricanes back in 2018, this team has been a force in the Eastern Conference and have been one of the toughest teams to play against in the entire NHL. They went all the way to the conference finals in 2019 before getting swept by the Boston Bruins, but since then, although they've been a dominant team in the regular season, winning their division three of the last four years, in the playoffs they've fallen short, losing in the first round in 2020 and then in round two each of the last two seasons. Under coach Brenda Moore, this team has become one of, if not the best, defensive teams in hockey. Thanks largely in part to guys like Jacob Slavin and Brett Pesci on the back end, but also because of a team-wide commitment to detail and really just putting in the effort to play a 200-foot game and put the team's success ahead of individual success. Heading into this postseason, the two favorites to win it all were the historic Boston Bruins and the reigning cup champs, the Colorado Avalanche. And well... We know what happened to both of them in round one. After they were both knocked out, it looked like a door was open for one of the Canadian powerhouses to go on a run. The Edmonton Oilers in the west, and the Toronto Maple Leafs in the east. But of course, the Canadian Cup curse continues, and both of them were also knocked out in round two. And now in the conference finals, the only team left that was a top five favorite at the start of the playoffs are the Carolina Hurricanes. And they weren't even supposed to be here after losing one of their biggest stars, Andrei Svechnikov, for the season in March because of a knee injury. After they had already lost another goal scorer, Max Pacioretty, in January to a torn Achilles. And to make things even worse, they lost another one of their biggest point producers in Tavo Teravainen in Game 2 against the Islanders to a broken hand. It does appear that he will be back at some point for these conference finals against Florida. So how have they been able to make it this far, missing some of their best offensive players and lacking what some would say is a true superstar, although you could definitely argue Sebastian Ajo is one. It really has been by committee. The Carolina Hurricanes play the ultimate team game under Rod Burnamore, and it makes for a team that is insufferable to play against, especially in the playoffs. Sebastian Ajo has obviously led the way as the number one center, and he is tied for the team lead in points. 21-year-old Seth Jarvis has also been great on that top line and has 4 goals and 8 points in the 11 games. Maybe the biggest pleasant surprise and MVP of the playoffs for the Canes so far has been Jordan Martinook. He's tied for the team lead in points with Ajo and has scored some clutch goals for the team. And for a bottom 6 forward who usually puts up around 30 points in a full regular season, he has been a huge part of Carolina's success so far. He's also a huge leader in the locker room. Jesper Fast and Jesperi Kakanyemi have both chipped in a great deal also. Fast is tied for the team leading goals with his 5. The team has young stud Marty Natchez on the third line along with captain Jordan Stahl who has also produced very well so far and is a giant piece of this team. The defensive unit has been one of the best in the NHL really for the last 5 years and the biggest reason for that is Jacob Slavin, a guy who is probably the best defensive D-man in the entire league. And I know a lot of people think plus minus is a useless stat, but Slavin leads all players in the playoffs right now with a plus 14. And as a defenseman playing against top lines from all the opposing teams, this is very impressive. The Canes also added Brent Burns via a trade in the offseason, and he has been excellent also, putting up 61 points in the regular season and helping a great deal on the top power play unit as well. Brett Pesci and Brady Shea have also been strong in the second pairing, and even Shane Gossespierre and Jalen Chatfield have done well in the bottom pair, committing to playing the right way and putting the team first. In net, Antti Ranta was serviceable in round one, but since coming in late against the Islanders, Freddie Anderson has been lights out, along with just one goal and four of his six starts. The Carolina Hurricanes have completely bought into playing hockey the right way under Rod Brindamore who also happened to be the captain back when Carolina won their first and only Stanley Cup in 2006. With four teams remaining heading into the conference finals, the Canes are now the slight favorites to win it all. So is this the year they bring Lord Stanley back to Carolina, or will they let the pressure get to them?